Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, my friend? Antonio, good evening. Good evening. Can you hear and me? How are you? How are you? Tell me. The same routine, teacher. I get home at 6 p.m. Same routine. All day, the same routine. Every day. Every day. Yes. But uh, like yesterday, ready to the class. Ready for the class? That's good. That's good. That's the attitude, my friend. So, uh, hard day at work, you told me. Yes, teacher. We have a lot of work. It's a temporada alta, como se dice, teacher? High season. I see some. Maybe, maybe until September or, or, or October. October. Yes. The, the last year uh, was born until age, age 45 p.m. Three, three times, no, three days a week. Last year. Uh -huh. But uh, in this year, we work hard in the day. Wow, so it's harder. Yes. Wow. That's the way it goes, like, right? Yes. Like you say, teacher, uh, what can we do? Yeah. That's right. What can we do? Yes. The good thing is that you're here, ready to start the class. We can relax a little bit here. Yes. And that's cool, that's cool. Well, welcome to the class, my friend. Nice having you here. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you for being here. Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 um. Oscar, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Um, hi. At home. I rest. Thank you, God. Thanks, God. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. It's nice to see that you are here and ready for the class. Yeah, ready. I, before the day, the, um, very, a lot, very easy, busy. Very busy. Very, very busy. I know what you mean. Yesterday, I know what you mean. Yes. Yesterday, um, yesterday and today. So. Also very busy. Yes. Uh, yeah, you know. I mean, some days are like that at work. Yes. Yeah. Fine, fine. Ready to class and like, good attitude. Okay, that's nice. I like that. 
for you to have a good attitude. That's very, very important. Yeah. Very, very good attitude um, and learning. And learning. Y pon attention. But uh, the language, um, I sick. I, I was uh, sick. I was sick, but hard, hard, uh, hard. But uh, this was the uh, very good. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Excellent. I mean, to see that you are, you are able to say that it's a little bit better. That's nice. Welcome, yeah. Oscar. Nice having you here in the class. Thank you, sir. Gabriel, how are you? Hi, teacher. How are you? And fine. Oh, no, uh, I'm not too good. You're not good? I'm not so good. Uh, Why not? I live at I live, I live it, but oh, hey, I'm a little bit of salud. Really? Why? What's wrong? Yes. Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Of the ear and infection. Oh, really? Yeah. Pero, I am only sobreviviendo. Okay, well, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, it's hard sometimes, right? ¿Cómo? It's hard sometimes. A veces es un poco duro. Uh, yes. Yes. Pero aquí well, Mister. Yeah. Nice having you here. Thank you. Okay. Bueno. Mailing, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hi, and you? I'm just fine, just fine, you know. Same old, same old. Same old story. And tell me, how was your day? Um, it's very, very good. Good day. That's well, nice. I'll just say cansado. <laughs> Tiring. Tired. Yeah, that's normal. I mean. Sorry. It's, okay. it's the middle of the week and the hard days, right? Um, the middle week for me is the best day past. Today is very hard. <laughs> uh, today was. Today was uh, hard. Uh, well, so sorry to hear that. <laughs> so sorry to hear that. You know, sometimes it's like that. I mean, sometimes situations appear and what can we do, right? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? <laughs> well, my dear, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Okay, Magdaleno, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hi, home. At home. No, at home. Today was uh, a work day. I have. Uh, I... Sorry. <laughs> My wife. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Me. Yeah. I told you that. That today we had. 
midnight service. No, no. Oh. Midweek. Midweek service. Oh, okay. Work, no. Worship uh, at church. I am just. I am just arriving to home. I'm just arriving home. I'm just arriving home. All right. Just now. Oh my gosh! So oh, it's been a it's been a long day for you. Maybe. Uh, Wednesday is is like that every week. Uh, Wednesday, Friday, and all the weekend, and the and the whole weekend. Oh yeah, I imagine. I imagine. I mean, the weekend is the special. Yeah, is that? It's the hardest of all. Maybe. I enjoy. I really enjoy my my job. I have a lot of. But the pastor is is amazing. Is it's funny. It's funny. Okay. <laughs> it's funny. We have relationship with children. And we want to be It's it's good. Okay, well, I really like that's it. That's nice. Mm -hmm. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's nice having you here. Thank you. Let's see who else is. Around. Um, Carlos, Carlos Alivaldo, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, my friend, how are you? Very good, teacher. Sorry? Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, that's nice. Yes. That's excellent. That's excellent. How was your day? Mm, also. Um, mm, too pesado, teacher. El día de hoy. Okay, it was hard today. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, I can imagine that when it's a hard day, what can we do, right? But it's good to have you here. Excuse me, teacher. I don't it's good to have you here. Um, and, and I had making in the report and I said the same the time same view the, the report. Oh you had to? The yeah, yeah. Boy. You had to do it today. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's I mean. I imagine it was a hard day at work, of course. Yeah, it worked. Okay, well, welcome to the class, my friend. Nice having you here. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Wilfredo, hello, how are you? Uh, hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, how are you? Good, good, teacher. Good? Yes. A good day for you? Was? Un buen día? Um, I was good, I was uh, okay. It was it was, okay. it was okay. Perfect, perfect. That's nice. So glad to hear it. 
Me alegro escucharlo. So, what did you do today? Can you tell me about it? ¿Puede contarme? Casi, casi que no lo escucho, Tisha. What did you do today? ¿Qué fue lo que hizo hoy? Como eh, la, la rutina de siempre, conducir, ¿cómo sería? The same routine, driving. Besides, same routine. La misma rutina. Casi, casi que no lo escucho, le, le, le oigo bien. The same routine, driving. Uh, the same thing, driving. Oh, well. Where did you go today? ¿A dónde fue? Eh, o pico. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, eh, estamos, como le digo, en un proyecto allí en Opico, moviendo máquinas. Oh, really? Yes. Mm. Well, you've been busy. Muy ocupado. Well, nice having you here. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Okay, now let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's next? Uh, Ivania, hello Ivania. Hello teacher. How are you? Fine. And how was your day? Working. Okay. Yes, that's every day, right? Como todos los días. Yes. Yeah, I understand. You From understand. From Monday to Saturday. From Monday to Saturday. Oh. Yeah, I mean. What can we do, right? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? But it's good to have you here in class, my dear. Qué bueno tenerla por acá. Welcome to the class. Okay, and let's see who else is around. Shimara, hello, how are you, Shimara? Hi, teacher. Good. How are you? Good? Good. Okay, yes. and tell me, how was your day? What did you uh, do today? My day was a little bit tired. Oh, really? Why? Yes, because um, I had two meetings during the day. I check with my boss for projection for this week and take other things, teacher, but I'm tired. Well, but at least you are here in class. Sorry? At least you are here in class. Al menos la tengo acá en class. Yes, I'm here. That's nice. That's nice. With all the good attitude, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's great. That's great. Because, I mean, if there's no other option, what can we do? We have to face every day. Welcome, my dear. 
Let's see who else, who else, who else. Ivan, hello, Ivan, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, and tell me, how was your day? Um, today is, is very hard. So, yeah, I um, receive a course. How do you say? I receive, I receive a course. A course. De, the uh, Monday laundry in my company. Mm. Lavado de dinero. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, me, uh, me conecto a las seis, uh, six p.m. and eight p.m. Uh, uh, los días, este, Thursdays and Fridays. Wow, so you're very busy. Yes, yes, very easy. Así que, pero, eh, I feel, I feel happy. This is very interesting, uh, the class and the English. Mm, that's great. That's great, that's great. So you had a good day at work. Yes, yes. That's nice, that's nice. Good to have you here, Ivan, welcome. Gracias, gracias, you're welcome. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Do I still have time? Yeah, I still have time to greet somebody. Ingrid, hello, how are you? Uh, very well, teacher, how are you? Uh I'm just fine, just fine. How's everything for you today? Um, very hard because I I took the the flight uh, at two p.m. Oh. But I I finally uh, go, got got no got uh, to my house. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah, I mean it was hard. It was hard, right? Yes, I my connection is a uh, fifteen, yeah, fifteen hours. But mm -hmm. finally, Ouch. Was, mm -hmm. finally at home. Where was your connection flight? And mm -hmm. um, the first connection is Miami. Uh huh. No. Was connection. It was connection is Miami. The second connection was in Washington. The finally in New Jersey. Miami. Uh, New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From yes. Miami, you went to Washington. From Washington, yeah. you went to. New Jersey. Yes, Gosh. In, Was in Washington. Ouch. I I spent tonight. Just no, yesterday. In, last night. Last night, yes, last night. Uh, this day in the morning, I work. I work. Uh, uh -huh. In the morning, I check. I check email. I send a um, report and um, I, 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 I talk um, uh, whatever person in, in our puerto for my flight, the, for my final flight, uh, the, the fear, the, ¿Cómo se dice el vuelo original? The, the original the flight. The original flight. The original flight. Um, it, it was a uh, five p.m. five o'clock. But uh -huh. I, I, yo pregunté, I, I, I asked, I asked a uh, one person for my uh, flight in these people. Change, change uh, my 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 flight in 
I fly um, very early, no late. Wow. Por, so it was dice? complex for, for you. Yeah, ¿cómo se dice? Por eso estoy ahorita acá. That's why. That's right. I am here. That's right, I am here. That's why. That's why. Well, yes. it's, it's, it was interesting. It was an interesting flight, the one we had. I say, uh, uh, my friend, is the flight for the pools. <laughs> yeah, I mean, too many connections. Yes, but it's good teacher today. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, the good thing is that you are here, that you are home. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what matters. And that's what's really, really, really important. Yes. Okay, well, nice having you here and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Let me get the attendance before we move on, guys. So we can continue like on a more relaxed fashion. Oh, today we are having a very interesting topic. Today we are working with present perfect tense. I know you are going to enjoy it. It's going to be interesting. My grammar point. Carlos Eduardo Ortiga Barrios. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmol. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Present teacher. Stephanie Lizette Molina Rodriguez. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present. Ivania Shamile Dominguez Hernández. Present teacher. Ivet Lizard Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Carla Lizard García Lemos. Okay. Uh, Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Thank you. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present teacher. Nelson Antonio Arrodas Rosales. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. I hear teacher. Thank you. Rosalina Alvarado. Verónica Arelia Echala Ramírez. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Okay, let's see, let's see. Well, 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 well. Let me just, okay. Get in the first topic. Sorry, guys, just give me a second, but I need to get something here. Okay.
here we go. Well, the first activity we are going to perform today, it's uh, after the greetings, of course, it's a conversation, okay? And it's a good one. Very, very, very interesting. Let's see. In the second. Okay, we are ready. Okay, we are talking about troubleshooting, Phil. And the conversation goes like this. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. I repeat. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Okay, guys. Now we're gonna go work in first. You're gonna have four minutes for the practice and then we come back and present the conversation. We are running tonight because the grammar explanation is going to be a little bit long, okay? And it's going to be nice. Well, I hope so, you enjoy it. Let me see. Okay, groups are created and I'm gonna send you right now the screenshot of the conversation, okay?
Let's see what happened to you guys. Teacher. Hi, teacher. My, uh, the, my connection is bad. Is the, the up, the out. I just sent you again to a group. Okay. Ahí vi Magdalena y Petrovic. Let's go check the groups. Check. Oh, there's table. 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 Um, uh, where is this? Have you checked all the tables are plus? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked in two. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problems with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the miners changed for place the batteries? Replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My box sends them a memo every week. Oh, I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great, I hope he can fix these problems. Okay, you can first now. Okay. Okay. What's wrong Is with it? the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it. I have it. Check it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about you, the connections? Have you checked all the cables and are plung? Plung, what's, how do you say plung heads, teacher? Plugged, plugged. Plug. Plugged. Plug. Gracias, thank you. Okay. okay, yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. Uh, we have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance, the things replacing the batteries? Right. No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Right. I hope he can fix this problem. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked in everywhere. I want to run. Teacher, do you have yes. pronounced checked it? Checked. It? Checked. Check. Together. Checked. No, but with it. I have checked it. I have checked it. I have checked it. I have checked it. Yes, right. Checked it. Yes, like that. I have checked. I have checked it. Checked it. I have checked it. Is right. Yes, like that. That's the way. That's the way. Okay. That's.
Okay, let's see. Everybody's coming. Everybody's coming. And everybody's here. See, yeah, everybody's here. So let's do it. Okay. Now, let's start with Ingrid and Ivania. Ingrid, you start, please. Okay. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, love. Well, I don't know. I have to get it everywhere and I it can't turn on. That's, that's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Cables? Cables? Are plugged. Are plugged. Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computer. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah. Equipment. Equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the I don't know what maintenance. is the maintenance. Maintenance. Okay. Has the maintenance thing replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss has been a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope that you can fight the problem. Fix this problem. Fix the problem. Excellent. Well done. Now let's see Carlos Salivaldo and Elvin Alberto. Okay. Carlos, you start. Okay. Was wrong, was wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and I won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connecting? How you checking out the cable are, are flowing? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician had checked, checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yes, I heard have, have the maintenance team rep, replay the battery. No, they haven't. My boss sent them a memo every week. I see. We take what the technician is the coming. Great, I hope he can fix the problem. Okay, guys, checked, checked. Remember something, ED after K, la ED después de la K, sounds as a T, suena como una T, checked. Okay, checked. And then technician, technician, great. Okay, very good, well done. Xiomara and Karen Beatriz. Karen, are you ready? Let's see. Well, Xiomara, 
you're gonna do it with uh, 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 with me okay you start Xiomara. what's wrong with the computer george hello look well i don't know i have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on that's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables I plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the man Maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Well done, well done. Excellent. Just remember, Miss Maintenance. 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 Okay, Ivan and Magdaleno. Who are you gonna pair, teacher? Oh, Ivan. Ivan, your microphone. Okay. You start. Thank you. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't be wrong. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked it? All the cables are plugged. Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, uh, and Mario, the technician, has checked it too. Check it. Check it. Uh, we have not verified the rest of, of the computer and have had the same problem with our equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replace, replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. Oh, I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Right. I hope he can fix the problem. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, Oscar and Gabriel. Okay, Let's see, Gabriel, you ready? Okay. Okay. Gabriel, you start. Okay. What is wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have a checker, checker everywhere, and it's not one your own. That's too bad. How about the connection? How you check how the cables are closed? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest on the computer. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that no, they have no. My boss sent the memo every week. 
I think, by the way, the technician is coming. Great, I hope he can fight, he, he can fight this problem. Fix this problem, fix. Fix, fix the problem. Okay, thank you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Veronica, you ready? See, Veronica, okay. Antonio Rodas and Luis Antonio. Okay, teacher. Let's see. Uh, Mr. Rodas, you start. Okay, teacher. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. The technician is coming. Perfect. Well done. Excellent. Great. Great teacher. Mailing and Wilfredo. Wilfredo, you start. Let's see, Mailing. What's wrong? Why compu? Yours. Mm. Maylin, your turn. Uh, um, sorry, teacher, I don't listen, Wilfredo. Uh, okay, hello, Wilfredo, Luke. start again, please. I'm sorry. Let's start again. What's wrong? What's the computer, computer, yours? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it, checked it there everywhere. And it won't turn on. Turn no. That too too bad. How about the the connection? Have you checked all the cables? Uh, yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it to check it to. <clears throat> we have not verified the rest of the computer. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that Maybe. as the maintenance team replaced the batteries. No, they haven't. My boss sent a memo every week. I see. By the way, the thing is coming. Ray, I hope can fix this problem. Okay, perfect. Equipment. 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 And maintenance. Maintenance. Okay, let's see. Magdaleno, help me out, please. Rosalina, you ready? Okay. Rosalina, 
Yes, teacher. Okay. Magdaleno, you start. It's okay. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with head equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the, replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see, by the way, the technician is coming. Great, I hope he can fix this problem. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, guys. You're welcome, teacher. Okay, I know this is a little bit long because the conversation is long and we are many, but believe me, it's worth it. It's really worth it. Now, remember something, guys. Whenever you are saying, when you have ed after k and a verb, cuando tenemos ed después de k en un verbo, it sounds as a t. Suena como una t. Checked. Checked. Walked, talked, okay? The sound at the end is as a T. Now, uh, let me get the attendance because then we go to the grammar explanation. Carlos Eduardo Artiga Barrios. Well, somewhere around, I remember. Uh, Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmon. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Thank you, Edwin. Stephanie Lisette Molina Rodriguez. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Ivan Petrovich Kuzman Aquino. Presence. Ivania Shamile Dominguez Hernandez. Present. Yvette Lisette Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Carla Lisette García Lemos. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Nailin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Verónica Arelia Chala Ramírez. Thank you, Verónica. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present teacher, I'm driving. No problem, no problem, I got you. Okay, guys, now. Let's see, I have prepared a PPT, a PowerPoint presentation. Let me check that everything is in order. So we can do the exercise. Okay, just fix there is something.
Okay, we are ready. Let me share with you. Okay, present perfect tense. This is going to be in there. Let's check it out. Okay, if we are talking about an event which happened in the past, and if we don't give an exact time, yesterday, two days ago, last week, there's not an exact time. We can use the present perfect tense. The exact time is not important in this case. I have bought a new house. When? We don't know. It could have been yesterday, it could have been last week, it could have been two days ago. We are not specific, okay? I have made some changes. When? We don't know. Okay, something that we must remember is this. I have yo e. Okay? In this case, the verb have, when it's working as an auxiliary, it becomes the verb haber. Se vuelve el verbo haber en español. I have bought. Yo he comprado. I have bought a new house. I have made some changes. I have painted the walls blue. Yo he pintado. I have changed the curtain. Yo he cambiado. I have removed the carpet on the stairs. Yo he removido. In this case, remember, the exact time is not important. El momento exacto no es importante. Now, rule number two. We often use the present perfect tense to talk about a continuing situation. This is a state that started in the past and continues in the present and will probably continue into the future. This is a state. It is not an action. Un estado, no una acción. Look, something that started in the past and it's not finished. Algo que comenzó en el pasado o no terminado. We usually use for or since with this structure. For or since, for or this. Thing. Okay. David has been, ha estado, at the sea since July. He hasn't seen his family for five months. Okay. 1970, the present. Sam became a shoemaker in 1970. He is still working. He has been a shoemaker since 1970. I, I uh, started teaching in the year 2000, in the present, in the year 2022, I am still a teacher, okay? I have been a teacher for 22 years. Okay, Magdaleno, when did you become a pastor? Um. I have been a pastor. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When did you become a pastor? Cuando se volvió pastor? Which year? Um, uh, en mi ordenación, no sé cómo se dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was ordered. Uh, I was ordered on uh, uh, 2016. 16, perfect. Are you a pastor now? Yes, I am. Okay, so you have been a pastor since 2000, 
16. Okay? Okay. So, I, in this case, I thank you. Being. No, I okay. have been. I have. I have been. Perfect. In this case, we are expressing something that started in the past, it is true in the present, and perhaps will continue into the future. Okay? Started in the past. It is true in the present and continues perhaps to the future. Any question up to now? Alguna pregunta hasta ahorita? Let's continue. Okay, look, Sam became a shoemaker in, in 1970. He is still working. He has been a shoemaker since 1970. Douglas has been a teacher since 2000. Let's continue. Rule number three. We use it for an action which happened in the, in the near past and it has strong connections or effects to the present. Okay. I have broken my arm. It still hurts. That happened a few days ago. It happened in the near past, in un pasado cercano, and has an effect in the present. It still hurts. Aún duele. Yes, Rosalina? It is possible you um, sharing the the this this uh, grammar in. I the, always always do the Rosalina. Don't worry, I always do it at the end I of the class. I thank you because it's for me it's a big problem. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Look, you walked in the rain yesterday, and look, you have got a cold. You look very bad. Caminaste bajo la lluvia ayer, and look. You have got a cold. You look very bad. Somewhere near in the past, and the effect is still here. Hey, why do you look so tired? And you're like, oh, I have just arrived home. I have just a cabal in. Arrive home. I have just arrived home. Let's continue. If we are talking about the period, today, this morning, this week, this month, this year, this century, which hasn't finished, then we can use the present perfect tense. Let's see some examples. Okay. Would you like to go to the cinema? No, thank you. I have been to the cinema twice this week. During this period of time, during this week, I have been to the cinema twice. In my case, mm, I haven't watched TV this month, I guess. Very busy. Rule number five, lately, recently. These words give us information about the events happening in the near past. They don't give a specific time in the past. So we can use the present perfect thing. There has been a great progress against cancer recently. It's not a specific, recently. Have you seen any good films recently? Unfortunately, I have been very busy lately. Rule number six, already just yet. We use them for the present purpose. Let's look some examples. The room is dirty now. It is clean now. She has just cleaned. Look, not dirty no more. 
she has just. Of course, have you sent the emails yet? Of course, boss, I have already sent them. The washing machine is still working. It hasn't finished yet. Está aún trabajando. It hasn't finished yet. This is Attila. He lives in Turkey, but he is not in Turkey now. He has gone to Egypt. He has been in Egypt for a week. Look, it's right there. Okay, now let's look about the, 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 the structure. The structure, look. We have the auxiliary plus the verb in past participle. That's for the affirmative. You have subject and you have have or has plus the verb in past participle. The negative, hasn't or haven't, plus the verb in past participle. The interrogative, okay, look, it changes. You have the auxiliary, then you have the subject, then you have the past participle. Don't worry, I will explain the structure in a different way. So, affirmative, look, I have traveled. You have traveled. We have traveled. They have traveled. He has traveled. She has traveled. It has traveled. Negative. I have not traveled. You have not traveled. We have not traveled. They have not traveled. He has not. If you notice, we have have and has, and then not for the negative. In the question, we just switch the position. Have I, have you, have we, have they, has he, has she, has it. If you ever see these words, ever, never, once, many times, already, yet, so far, always, before, just recently, lately, most probably, in a sentence, you are speaking in present perfect. Remember, you use it for an unspecified time before now. It started in the past, continues in the present, and goes to the future in some situation. Okay, give me just a second. Just a second, just a second because I want to send it now to you so you can have it. Let me see. And there you go, guys. It's already in the WhatsApp group. You can check it out later. I send it to you as a PDF. It's easier to read and to open. So you can save it if you want. Now, let me, we have not finished with the grammar explanation, okay? I'm going to explain right now on, with more detail the structure. Any question up to now? Alguna pregunta hasta este momento? Not yet? Okay. Well, no, I will no, switch. Sir, no, yeah.
I will switch into Spanish just for one second. Okay, one minute, the most. Ok, perdón, voy a pasar al español solo un instante, quiero que quedemos muy claros. Estamos hablando del presente perfecto, un tiempo que expresa algo que en muchas ocasiones inició en el pasado, puede ser que en el presente tenga una influencia o esté sucediendo, continúe hacia el futuro. Utilizamos como auxiliar el have y el has. Se convierte en el verbo haber. El verbo principal en pasado participio, que es el pasado participio, ado, ido. I have eaten. Yo he comido. I have listened. Yo he escuchado. ¿Ok? Now, for regular verbs, los verbos regulares, the past participle, very simple. Para los verbos regulares, you just add ed. As simple past. Le agregamos ed como en el pasado simple, and that's it. For irregular verbs, We need to practice and memorize them because there's no rule. Tenemos que practicarlos y memorizarlos. They got their own form. Okay? Questions before I jump into the structure? Preguntas antes que pasemos a la estructura? Okay. If you feel like dubious, uh, I can prepare some exercises for tomorrow. Don't worry. Voy a preparar unos ejercicios so we can practice more tomorrow for this topic. It's very interesting. And believe me, uh, actually, we use it. We use it a lot. Nosotros lo usamos. I have studied for the exam. Yo había estudiado para el examen. You see? We use it. Okay, now, 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 let me share with you. Okay, now. Okay, we are talking about the present perfect. Okay, I'm going to focus now just in the structure. I guess my focus on the structure. Okay, so the affirmative form. The affirmative form uses the subject plus the auxiliary. In this case, the auxiliary is the verb have or has. Plus the main verb. How's the main verb? Oh, the main verb is in past participle plus complement. And that's the structure, okay? Example, I have Eaten um, I have eaten fish for a long time. I have eaten fish for a long time. Okay, now. What do we have? We got a subject. We got the auxiliary. We have the verb in past participle. And we have the complement. Okay, so all this is the complement. This is the verb in past participle. This is the auxiliary. And this is the subject. Okay, but you tell me, well, 
you got here have and has. So when do I use have and when do I use has? This is very simple. Because whenever you are talking about I, you, we, they, in these situations, you are going to use have, okay? So, for you, for they, for we, uh, for I, and for we, we use have. And whenever we are talking about the third person, that means he, she, or it. In this situation, we are going to use has. So, For us, it will be, para nosotros sería el A, ella A, eso A. Yo he, tú has, nosotros hemos, ellos han. Okay, let's go back to the structure. That was the affirmative. Then we have the negative form. The negative form, it's quite almost the same. Look, you have sub, plus, the auxiliary, uh, or has, plus, not, plus the verb, past participle, as you remember, plus the complement. So, in this case, for the same sentence, we have I have not. eating fish for a long time. And again, if you remember, the structure is quite simple. Subject, auxiliary, not, verb in past participle, complement. Remember, fish for a long time, the complement. Item, the verb in past participle. We have here the negation, the word not. We have here the auxiliary, have, and we got here the subject, okay? Now, something that we must remember is this, guys, that we have have not, this can be contracted into haven't, okay? And don't forget that has not can be contracted into hasn't, okay? This is very, very important not to forget it. Why not? Because it is used a lot, okay? Have not, haven't. Has not, hasn't. Americans, when they are speaking, they use it a lot. Okay, and we are missing just the interrogative form. Which is quite simple, as I was telling you. The interrogative form, 
you got the auxiliary right at the beginning. Have or have. After the auxiliary, subject plus the verb, you know that is in past participle. Plus complement plus question mark. The example, okay. Have I eaten fish for a long time? Okay, let's see, what do we have here? Let's check the structure. Auxiliary, have or has, subject, verb in past participle, complement, and question mark. So we got it exactly like this. Oops, I'm sorry. Tell me guys, is there any question about the structure? Teacher, yes. the, I confuse an interrogative form. Okay. I, I don't understand the the log la logica de pregunta. Oh in this case, in this case, this this sentence is not quite logic. Esta oración no es muy logic. Another perhaps more logic is like, uh, look, tell me, Ingrid. Uh -huh. Have you slept uh -huh. a lot today? Ha dormido Have usted. you slept? Ha usted dormido? Ha dormido o has dormido? Okay. You got it? Yes. yes, teacher, thank you. Okay, questions, guys? Want me to send you this screen? A screenshot of this? Yes, please, teacher. Teacher, okay. there is a yes, lens. Teacher, there is a lens. Um, uh, pre, este, pass, uh, participle, really? A list of verbs. Yes, yes, Lisa. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can find many different lists. And to be honest with you guys, what I recommend for you to do is you get a verb uh, or a situation and try to try to use it because the only way for you to really, really remember the best, the verbs in past participle is by using them. I mean, and don't worry, we are going to be using them right here in the class because uh, it's the hard thing with this is not the structure. The hard thing here is those verbs, but uh, I hope that the, the, the presentation was clear enough. Espero que la presentación ha sido un poco clara. And I try to make I try to make it as simple as possible, but 
sometimes it's not that easy. With some topics, it's a little bit complex, but the best part is when we practice it. So we are going to practice it. And if you got any extra questions, I will send you more, more, um, more explanations. Just give me a second. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, guys, I just sent you something extra in the WhatsApp group that you can check on your own time. It's an extra grammar explanation. And right now, in this moment, if there's no questions, and just let me check my lesson plan. It says here. Okay, perfect. We go back to the manual, okay? Okay, how to use present perfect? We use it to talk about unfinished actions or states or habits that started in the past and continue to the present. Use the verbs in the participle form and the auxiliary for third person singular, he, she, it, and we use for the rest of the pronouns. Okay, we know that for the third singular, we use has, okay? And we use have for the rest of the pronoun. So, in negative statements, I'll not after the auxiliary. Okay, guys, now. Write affirmative and negative sentences using the prompts. What are you going to do with this vocabulary, with these words? You are going to write sentences using present perfect. Notice that number two and number four are negative, okay? So this is the exercise right now. So I'm going to send you to the group. Uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, could you repeat the instruction for the negative? Uh, the which sentences. One, yeah, which one are negative and which one oh, are number, number two and number four are negative. The rest are affirmative. No questions, okay? No interrogative sentence. Okay, so I'm going to send you to the groups right now. And you're going to have four minutes for this activity.
Gabriel, welcome back. I'll send you to the group. Finish, guys. Mm -hmm. Stop. 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 Okay, yeah. Stop. Double P. Stop. Double P. Stop. Yeah. Fix, uh, fix is regular or irregular? Which one? It's regular. Fixed. Number yeah, three. Regular. Regular. It's fixed. Fixed. Yep. Irregular is. Um, just number four. The rest are number regular. Four is plus. Plus. Hold on. Make is a regular. Check. Let me check. Let make. Me check. Oh, yeah. Plug. Yeah. Make, make, make. Yeah, yeah, make yeah. Make the, the only one regular. Or team. Or team is. Okay, is it the right? Yeah. Is it? Or team has has fixed. Or team has fixed. Fix. 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 The equipment. 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 Equipment, the equipment, equipment. Jenny has not. Jenny has not, or hasn't. Jenny has not. Mm -hmm. Creo que estaba con doble G. Correcto. Okay. It. The court. Court, no sé si se pronuncia así, vamos a ver. Court. No sé si se pronuncia. Court. Secretary. Secretary of Secretary, yeah, but no. Secretary. 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 Awesome. The secretary. I siempre me confundo en esa palabra. Tengo the I I had no. I have
Okay, okay, guys, let's see. Let's do the exercise. Give me a second. Where is it? Where is it? Oh. Sorry, I got so many screens open. Okay, number one. Mario changed the fuse. Maylin, help me out, please. The first. Yeah. Mario has changed the Okay. Key. Mario has changed the fuse. Perfect. Number two goes to, let's see, Ivan, number two. Okay, the productions. Okay, the production has not has not st uh, stopped. Stopped. Stop. Stop. Okay, perfect. Number three. Let's see. Number three goes to. Let me check. Everybody can see. Oscar, number three. Okay, teacher. Our team fixed the equipment. Okay. Our team fixed the equipment. Equipment. Perfect. Yes. Y ahí no lleva el auxiliar. Solo. Oh, yes. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. Our team has. Yes, has. Our... Okay. Okay. Hold on. It's just that I have made a mistake. I confused in the case. Our team has. Yes, it is has. Why? Because. Hold on, give me a second. Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Okay. It is has because when we say our team, we are talking about a group. Mm -hmm. So when we have a term that involves a group, it's singular. Mm -hmm. We are group. not talking about the members of the group. We are talking about the group. How many groups? One. How many teams? One. It's like it? a people. Yeah. Our mm -hmm. team has fixed equipment. Uh -huh. Okay, Lina, tell me, number four. You opened your microphone, so help you me You say out. me. Okay, four. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jenny has not blocked the, the course. Jenny has not plugged Plug the course. The course. The mm -hmm. course. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you. Mr. Antonio. Okay, teacher. The secretary has made a now copy. The secretary uh, has made enough. Yes. Enough copies. enough copies. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Xiomara, you got the last one. The technician has checked the connector. The technician has checked the connector. Perfect, thank you. And let's see guys. Number one, Mario has changed the fuse. The production has not stopped. Our team has fixed 
the equipment. Jenny has not plugged the cords. The secretary has made enough copies. The technician has checked the connector. Okay. Now, tomorrow, uh, let's hope I don't forget. I will bring you uh, extra information about the pronunciation of the ED. I guess that's for some of you is like a little bit of problematic. So let me write down. Let me just write it down. Pronunciation. ED. Okay. I will prepare some extra material so we can practice a little bit of it. Okay. Le voy a preparar un poquito de material para que practiquemos la pronunciación del ED en los verbos regulares. Because we got, there we got three different sounds. Okay? So, it's going to be fun. So, up to now, questions with present perfect, guys. Tell me, tell me, tell me. No questions? Okay, perfect. Now, let's see, <laughs> Magdaleno, tell me. Uh, okay, teacher. Have you ever, have you ever tried um, snake? Have I ever tried snake? Have you ever tried snake? I try it and um, yeah, yes, yes, I have. I have. Perfect. Thank you. So let's see. Uh, Rosalina, have you ever flown by airplane? How have you ever flown? Flown. Fly. Fly. Uh, in an airplane okay have you ever yeah, flown yeah yes 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 <laughs> yes i have yes i have okay excellent now let's see uh, 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 who else is around ibet hi teacher tell me ibet have you ever have you ever prepared a cake? Okay, I'll repeat please. Have you ever prepared a cake? A cake? Yeah, a cake. Ah. The pastry. Yes, I have. Oh, you can do it? Cool. That's nice. You can cook, yeah. you can bake. Oh, mm, that's a happy my, husband. Mm, my like, uh, I cooking? like, I like, like cooking. Uh, cooking. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. You know, in my house, we, we do that separate, 50-50. They cook, oh. I eat. So I help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I make my part. I make my okay. part. You see, they cook Excellent. and I eat. I help them. I help them. <laughs> Or is okay. Okay. No, okay. no, it's a big effort, believe me. It's a big effort. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now, let me see. I got a Yeah, it's a lot of work sometimes, but you know, you have to do it. <laughs> you have to do it. Okay. Let me see. I got a question for you. Okay. Have you ever had someone 
sing a song for you? Have you ever had someone sing a song for you? Now, let's analyze this question. Have you ever? Have you ever had? Ever, in this case, means alguna vez. Ever, okay. alguna vez. Yes, in this situation, questions in present perfect like that means alguna vez. So, have you ever had someone sing a song for you? Uh, another question like this. Have you ever danced? Salsa? Have you ever danced salsa? Look at that. Look at that one. What I'm trying to tell you is that sometimes in the structure, you know that for questions we have auxiliary, subject, verb, but sometimes you can get a word in the middle. Algunas veces podemos poner una palabrita entre el sujeto y el verbo en pasado participio. That, that expression expresses a moment. Okay? So, have you ever done salsa? Have you ever tried make? Have you ever flown? Have you ever baked? The questions I was asking you were based in this structure. Got it? So, I don't know, teacher, I have a question. Yeah, sure, tell me. Okay, when you say, have you ever had someone sing a song for you? I understood that other people um, sing to me, right, sing a song to me. Or is I, I, I so the question is, have I seen a song for someone? I don't understand the question. Okay. Have you ever had someone sing a song for you? Oh, yeah, sure. Once in a restaurant, I pay a guy, he was passing by with a guitar, and I asked him to sing a song for me. Mailing had a, a different situation. I asked Mailin, hey, Mailin, have you ever had someone sing a song for you? And she told me, oh, yeah. She said that her boyfriend mm. once went and gave her a serenade. You see? And she was yeah, like, and, oh, yeah. Got it? In this, in this situation, have you ever, have you ever something? Yeah, Someone. have you ever had something? Is, uh, is, uh, I, I asked for a song. Or I uh -huh. asked for something. Right. Yeah, it's because person. somebody did it for you. Uh -huh, yeah. My okay. confusion uh, was with you. You between have and never. Oh. Because uh -huh, it was my confused. But uh, I, re I resolved. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, I know that it was a little bit heavy, the grammar. But don't worry, tomorrow we are going, what we are going to do is put it into practice, okay? Tomorrow we are going to put it into practice. I will bring something extra for you, for us to do here in the class. And please, sometimes that happens, that after the class, you remember, mm, I didn't understand it. Take note, ask me tomorrow. If you got any doubt, bring them to the class. Si algo se le ocurrió después pensando, se da cuenta de que hubo algún punto que no quedó muy claro, anótelo y mañana tráigalo a la clase. It's good because if you got any question, I can answer for you and for the rest of the class, all everybody benefits from. It. So please, if any doubt arises, bring it to the class. I will be glad to help you. Okay, guys. I will. I am so glad that we have this interesting class but time has flown time has flown el tiempo ha volado so 
the moment has come for me to get the final attendance. Carlos Eduardo Artiga Barrios. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmol. Percentage. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Percentage there. Good night. Good night. Stephanie Lisset Molina Rodríguez. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Presente, Chan. Thank you. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Presente, Chan. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Bye, Ingrid. I'm here. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Hernández. Present. Yvette Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present. Thank you. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Good night. Rosalina Alvarado. My Present my teacher. Verónica Arelia Ayala Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. It was a very interesting plan. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody, my friends. See you. Bye now.
one loves the end. See you tomorrow.